So today, as I said earlier, we're honoring Detective Will Velasquez from the Albuquerque Police Department as our Friday's hero. Over the past few months, Detective Velasquez has come to the aid of a mentally ill man and his family numerous times. Uh, the wife of the gentleman wrote a letter to the city of Albuquerque in praise of Detective Velasquez and APD's crisis intervention team and the way that they approached every situation involving her husband. In her letter, she, commended, uh, she commented that every time she has needed the, the crisis intervention team, and especially Detective Velasquez, uh, they have been quick in responding, respectful to her husband's condition, kind, um, attentive, and protective of her safety and the safety of her children. Always willing to listen to any information that would help to understand how to handle the situation better. And this is a real testament to the commitment of the training uh, that uh, Chief Schultz and the entire Albuquerque Police Department provides and the professionalism of our men and women in uniform. Uh, Detective Velasquez's success in assisting this family, uh, as I said, speaks to this commitment uh, to crisis intervention training. APD has certified nearly 25 of our patrol, uh, of our patrol strength in crisis intervention. Additionally, crisis training is now included in the regularly scheduled annual training for all officers. The department is also in the process of increasing the percentage of officers um, who, have who have completed the training. Uh, people who are living with mental illness in the United States and internationally uh, are very common. An estimated 26.2% of all American ages 18 and older, about one in four adults suffer from a diagnosable mental disorder in any given year. When applied to the U.S. Census residential population estimates for ages 18 and older, this figure translates to 57.7 million folks who are living with a form of mental uh, 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 disability. Mental illness is part of our community and therefore our police officers need to be trained and that training is vital. And it's important for the citizens of Albuquerque to know that they can rely on our police department when someone they know or love is struggling with mental illness. Examples like this truly, tr truly show that our officers care about the well-being of everyone involved in the situation. And Chief Schultz is going to talk about this a little bit more, but I think one of the things I'd like to add is this idea that, that the men and women of the Albuquerque Police Department and also the men and women of our Albuquerque Fire Department on a daily basis encounter individuals in our city who are struggling and living with mental illness. And it's the right thing to do to have this robust amount of training. It's the right thing to do to treat individuals with kindness and with respect. Many of these situations can escalate quickly and it's just good to know that we have officers like Detective Velasquez who are out there really making a difference in the community from a public safety standpoint, but also from a human standpoint, from a compassion standpoint. So with that, I'm gonna have Chief Schultz say a few words and then I've got a, a coin I'd like to present to Detective Velasquez. Thank you, Mayor. And we're very fortunate uh, in the city of Albuquerque to have such a robust mental health team that works hand in hand with those officers that respond to those 911 calls on a daily basis. As the mayor said, 25% of the uniform force is trained in CIT intervention, but we're actually fortunate to have additional resources. Detectives uh, like Detective Velasquez, who are part of our CIT detective group that works in the Family Advocacy Center, supported by our COAST team and Dr. Nils Rosenbaum. We are still the only police department that I know of in North America that has the availability of services of a psychiatrist to assist people that are in crisis. What makes this case so unique, and it's one of the things that we really strive for, is to have experts who can build those one-on-one -on -one relations with the consumer, but more importantly, with their families. Because it's those family members that really end up having to pick up the burden to be part of that extended care network. And what Detective Velasquez was able to do was to build that trust that's necessary. So when a crisis was in the process of being developed, he was the go-to resource. The family was comfortable with him, with his assistance, as well as with the consumer. And this is what uh, the, the modern face of law enforcement is all about. Custom, tailored police services to help people deal uh, with the worst crises that they may find themselves in. So we're very proud of the work that's done not only by Will, but everybody that works in all these different arenas within the department. So congratulations on the job well done. Thank you. Thanks, Will. Thank you. Thank you. And, and one of the things that, I, that, that I've been very um, honored to be a part of as a mayor uh, with the Albuquerque Police Department is certainly the fact that, that these ladies and gentlemen have gone out and driven crime rates to 20-year lows in the city of Albuquerque, and that's a meaningful difference for quality of life. 
But I didn't know, I wasn't as familiar when I got elected uh, to the mayorship of all the great work that's going on with Coast, with the CIT teams. And I think it just really is a well-rounded approach in our community. And, and uh, Detective Velasquez, as you're setting a great example, uh, I know it can be easy to, to go out every day and do the job that you do, but we appreciate you very much. And I'd like to present you with a Friday's Heroes coin um, that we present to our heroes every Friday. And really just want to say from a grateful mayor and a grateful community, thanks for the difference that you're making in the lives of our citizens collectively and in this case uh, individually. Someone's, someone's having a better day because of the work that you're doing. We appreciate you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's nice to see who's, who's family here from Detective Velasquez. We got family? No? I just see, see a lot of people. There's a lot of people in the room. Well, there's a lot of people in the room today. I didn't, it looked like some family. Let's bring up our employee of the week if we can, uh, Joseph Johnson. Joseph, come on up. How are you, sir? Good to see you. Well, our employee of the week this week <coughs> is with Jim Hind, our aviation director, and he is an employee at the aviation department, and he works there as a custodian. Earlier this summer, while traveling through Albuquerque, a lady accidentally left her purse containing $747.61 uh, at the Albuquerque International Sunport. Uh, understandably, this lady became frazzled when she realized that she didn't have her purse and she had no idea where she'd left it, not to mention the cash that she had. Uh, Mr. Johnson, through his duties at the, at the Sunport, found the purse while going about his normal day-to-day -day activities. He immediately contacted the aviation police uh, with the hopes of finding the owner of the purse. Uh, to anyone, uh, this is a large amount of money. $747 is a lot of money. $747, is that anything to do with aviation? No. Or is that <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm wondering who can afford uh, that much money. The, the, the definition, you know, of integrity is, is really what you do when no one's looking. And I think Mr. Johnson set a great example today that reflects that adage and reflects the professionalism that Jim and the entire uh, group at the Albuquerque Sunport uh, exhibit every day. And this is not the first time we've heard a story like this about an employee at the aviation department that's gone above and beyond or any other city department. And it's a pleasure to have you here today with us, sir, uh, to recognize you for your honesty and just doing the right thing and really being a great ambassador. We have hundreds of thousands of people this week, for example, visiting the city of Albuquerque uh, for the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. And what it really does is it really brings to light this idea that we're all ambassadors, whether you're someone who lives in the city of Albuquerque, a citizen here, somebody that you run across, you never know who's gonna be visiting our city from outside. And time and again, we hear our, our city employees going above and beyond. And that level of ambassadorship, I think, speaks volumes. And so we just wanna uh, congratulate you again. And I'm gonna have Jim uh, come up and say a few words, but uh, we appreciate you very much, Jim. Thank you, Mayor. Well, Joseph is one of our solid custodial um, personnel out at the airport. He's a very quiet guy. He's a pretty shy guy. Um, and he is part of a division, though, that is, as the mayor said, the ambassadors for the Sunport. Uh, the first thing people see generally when they get off the airplane is a restroom. And these guys keep the restrooms in tip-top shape. The terminal itself is always beautiful. And it's because of the dedicated work of people like Joseph, and I want to thank you very much, one, for your work, and two, for your honesty. Okay. Thank you, sir. And we, um, you know, our, the International Sunport, the Albuquerque Sunport is really great front ports for our community. And I hear a lot as a mayor, wow, your airport's great. We love flying into Albuquerque. It looks beautiful. You guys are keeping it spotless. I think um, a while back, didn't somebody do a story about trying to, you know, the dirtiest the places germs. around. And one, and one of the things that they thought they'd do is, well, why not go to the, the, to the bathroom at the airport? That's got to be a, a horrible place. And I, I don't think they could grow anything off, off the Petri dishes. So mm -hmm. it's, just, it's just awesome that, that you're, you're putting this foot forward. So we have a, we have a mug for you, sir, um, for, for coffee to keep you going, I guess, or whatever, whatever that is. And then we have an employee of the week uh, certificate for you as well as a letter for your personnel file. So. Thanks again. Uh, we really appreciate you very much. Thanks. Thank you, sir. 